Hi YouTube, this is Mark here from Rocks and Me Reviews. Uh, today um, I'm going to be reviewing a film called uh, Exam. And not many people have heard of this film. It's quite, it's a you know independent film. My old lecturers at HND recommended to watch this. I remember him talking about it in one of our lessons. So um, I decided to go and watch it. But I was on Netflix last night. I was trying to search a film to watch. So I decided to watch this because you know it was um, it was apparently quite good. Exam is a 2009 film directed by Stuart Hazeldean. The film is set in present time United Kingdom and alternative history. Eight candidates stress for what appears to be an employment assessment exam. Uh, they enter a room and sit down at individual desks. Each desk contains a paper with the word candidate followed by a number from one to eight. The invigilator, a representative of the company named Dataprev, explains that the exam takes 80 minutes and consists of one question only and that there are three, three rules. Do not talk to an invigilator or the armed guard at the door. Do not spoil the paper and do not leave the room. Not obeying the rules will result in disqualification. And there's a scene at the start where uh, this the, one of the, because there's four females and there's four males, and the, the one of the, the, the females, she, she writes on her exam, so she gets chucked out straight away. Um, so it leaves the rest of them to, you know, work out what's going on. You can't give too much away about it because it'll, it'll ruin the whole film, basically. So I'm not going to say much about the plot, but it's, that's basically what the plot is. And it's it's all set in this one room as well, so... You know, it's all set in this one room, so it's, it's well done. I mean, it's only an hour and a half, so it sort of, it doesn't drag on, but... We'll go on to the directing next, which we're going to talk about now. Directing's uh, this probably the directing for this is probably the strongest point. I mean, it's not sort of the best film in the world, but the directing is very strong because there's particular, particularly right at the start, there's a scene where it shows all the like the characters like close up of the characters' eyes and their mouth and stuff. So you, there's some sort of like mystery to them. Because it, you know, it doesn't show their face fully, so that there's some sort of you know mystery about these characters, and it shows all of them as well. And they're, they're, and during the film, they've all you know they've all got different, um, they've all got different personalities, and they've all got sort of different jobs and that. They've all got different backgrounds. It's it's a very good film, but it's it's the ending that sort of like I don't know, sort of was quite disappointing. I mean, it had this really good premise. But then it sort of, you know, sort of died on its ass basically and just turned out to be sort of an okay film. But I was slightly confused by the ending. I don't know if that's just me or it's just, I think I just got confused a little bit. As for the acting as well, the acting was pretty good. There's only sort of uh, two people that I recognised, uh, Jimmy Mystery and uh, Colin Salmon. He's been in a he's been in a load of films. There's only, you know, two recognisable people in it, but they, they were they were pretty solid in it and all the rest of them as well. I haven't seen any of the others, but they, they were pretty good considering it was, you know, a uh, independent, independent budget film. As for the whole package though, I, I was, you know, I was very sort of, you know, I, it, it started off really well, but then it, it, it got, you know, sour by the end, I thought, but it had an interesting premise, but yeah, like I said, it sort of, it got a bit boring towards the end. I'm gonna give uh, exam uh, three stars out of five. I'll comment in the section below what your favourite sort of independent film is. It can be any, you know, any film like action, drama. It can be anything really. But um, yeah, I'll see. I'll see you guys next week. Anyway, um, I'll probably I might do my special next week, which will be I don't know my top favourite action films or something. I won't review like um, I won't review each film. I'll just do a summary of each film. But I'll do like my top five or whatever. So you got that to come up next week. I'll probably be seeing Insidious next week. So I'll probably be reviewing that next Friday at some point. But um, yeah, um, go and check the film out. It's not bad. Um, it's okay. Uh, but I'll see you guys soon anyway. Bye. The Juggernaut.